This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with another episode of Dark Souls for the PS3. In the last episode, we finished exploring the, uh... Well, okay, we didn't... We, we explored a bit of the Tomb of the Giants, but we, we ran across trusty patches in Rhea, the priestess, and, uh... We ended up uh, rescuing her from her two hollowed friends. Unfortunately, we had to destroy them, but, uh... We saw her up to the top, bought all of her spells, and left her to, uh... Well, fend for herself. Anyway, we're back here in, Honor in Orlando with the, the bonfire underneath the stairs, uh, where the uh, uh, picture of Gwyn the Fire Lord is at. And it's one of, another secret in this game. Now, if you go, remember in the last episode where we got a uh, a, a ring from the underground so called the uh, Dark Moon Seance Ring? Well, they mentioned something about a hidden secret in Orlando. so uh, you know what? Perhaps that. What the? It's gone! It, it wasn't there. As soon as I quit that ring, it, it disappeared. What? Trixies? Anyway, yes, we, we got a secret little thing here. What? The boss door? Are we gonna fight Gwendolyn or something like that? Oh, I'm ready for a fight then. This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self. Windelin, and kneel before me. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Am I at a... Oh, the graveyard server right now. Well, I don't need it anyway, anymore anyway, so I'll just take the half. I don't even think you get a banishment hit anyway, so we could we could work for Gwendolyn, huh? But what if we go through that fog door? I want to see, but... Well, you said not to not to touch it, so all right, we'll kneel. Let's see what oh, happens. Oh, disciple of the dark sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shall protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the dark moon. Huh. Dark Moon Covenant, huh? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Nido hasn't done enough for me lately anyway. He only gave me that sword and spells. Puh! Sha! We got the Blue Eye Orb and the Dark Moon Blade Covenant Ring. Very huh. well. Now thou art a blade of the Dark Moon. Hunteth the enemies of the Lords by the power of the Dark Sun. Interesting. Well, anyway, if we want to get, uh, if you want to gain rank in this, this one's basically another PV, well, most of the Covenants are PvP, but this one's a very unique PvP. You basically fight people in Aaron Orlando specifically when you do a certain action in the game. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, go and rank in it, you need, uh, need Souls of Reprisals, which are those cutoff ears. Uh, if you fight PvP, you get those ears when you destroy your opponent. If you don't want to go online, or, or online currently doesn't work anymore, like the servers are down or whatever, then you can go to the Painted World of Ar Artemis or Ar 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 whatever, the Painted World, and if you kill those crow creatures, they have a small chance of dropping the ears as well. So, like I said, another one that you can uh, get off screen, but let's go ahead and leave. But yeah, we're now a uh, member of the Covenant. Now, if we want to do anything with the Covenant, uh, let's look at the ring she, uh, or he gave us, sorry. Ring granted to those bound by the Dark Moon Blade Covenant. Answer Dark Winds, uh, Gwendolyn's summoning. Gwyn Gwendolyn, all too aware of his repulsive, frail appearance, created the illusion of a, of a sister, Guinevere, who helps him god over Anilando. An unmasking of these deities would be tantamount to blessing. Wait, what? That means that that hot, that piece of amazing chest up in the prince's room is an illusion by Gwendolyn? Huh. Well, so what she said to me was all Gwendolyn's doing? Huh. Makes it hard to believe that, uh, that I'm on the righteous path sometimes with people trying to lie to me about this stuff. Eh, I won't, uh, I won't confront Gwendolyn with it yet, but it makes me wonder about that. Anyway, yeah. Yep, that little, that, that big old lady in that chamber is actually just an illusion divided by Gwendolyn to, uh, to put us on the path he wants. But for what reason, we don't know. Hey, we also got a blue eye orb. Let's read that. It's similar to the red eye orb. Um, blue eye orb, online play item. Invade worlds, uh, world of players in the Book of Guilty. Subdue players acquiring a souvenirs of reprisal. 
Only Covenanters can use the item. These mystical orbs are granted to blades of Dark Moon. Knights who serve the Dark Knight Gwendolyn so that they may serve the gods and uh, melting out, melting out vengeance. Now, what that means, what this one is, is that if you use the blue eye orb, you will be summoned to a person who's online and in humanity who has been hit with, who is in the Book of Guilty, which you buy from Oswald, who has been hit by an indictments, uh, which are basically, you know, when, if you get killed by a, a dark player and you feel like they either cheaped you or cheated you or something like that, you can basically indict, uh, indict them um, and put them in the Book of Guilty, which means depending on how many times they get indicted, they've got more chances to be uh, encountered online. So yeah, I could use this and if someone has been indicted, I can basically be summoned to attack them. Uh, now if you wear the ring of Gwen, uh, the Dark Moon Blade, then any time uh, a player who is human is running around in Orlando and has destroyed the illusion of Guinevere, uh, something will happen to the world of Orlando and it'll change. And basically anyone who's in that world who's alive will be attacked by the player. So, since it's nothing to me, I will equip it now. I doubt I'll be summoned because most people... Well, some people do that, but... Uh, if anything ever happens to it, I'll cut to when we need to do that. But uh, and we can actually leave it on. We could get be summoned anywhere in the game to do that. So anyway, now that we've learned that little secret, let's uh, go back to Firelink Shrine so we can continue on to the ruins of New Londo and see uh, and see about those uh, about what's going that flooded city down there and the possible uh, ember that that the that. Um, uh, who t tells you about the ember again? Was it uh, underground? Someone told me that there was an ember. Oh, yeah, that uh, the skeleton smith told us. Yeah, that's right. I forgot what his name was, though. But the skeleton smith told us about an ember there, so we need to go check it out. Uh, if I had actually put the ward vessel on the shrine, we would also been told that to go there anyway. But now that we've basically gotten the ward vessel and convinced Framp to... Uh, that we that we're still his companion we can now go to new hondo and actually go through the whole thing so let's go back down to the ruins yeah i doubt i'll, I'll even though i have the ring on i doubt i'll get summoned to uh to uh, fight anyone it's the same with the cat ring if you wear that cat ring and you're part of the covenant then you're summoned to fight people who go in the forest it's a very similar thing to that so anyway let's go down here and uh and yeah the, you know we were down here before and we saw a way to explore well that's new hondo right there so Okay, before we go inside, we'll make sure... Okay, yeah, that's what I want to have, so... I want to have these ready to go. Remember what the one guy said? That ghosts can only be... Uh, ghosts in the new Londo ruins can be affected by cursing? Well, this is what we need. Well, you can actually be cursed. Basically, cursing is when you get, like, petrified or... Petrified or stuff like that, and then you get revived with lower health. Um, you can be cursed that way, or you can fake a curse, which is what I've got here. Okay. Ooh, never been here before. A couple of dead dudes, but they're not attacking me, so I can leave them alone. Ooh, we get the S stock. It's a rapier like weapon for Dex players. Hey, that guy looks familiar down there. Hey, it's the Crestfallen Warrior. How's it going, buddy? Whoa! Hey, wait, buddy, what's going on? Oh no! He's gone hollow! Well, I guess you gave in to your depression, man. You said you weren't feeling too good, so let's put you out of your misery. Sorry to hear that, man, but uh, if you're going to attack me, then... No. Sorry to hear that, man. By the way, there's nothing you can do. He will. He always goes hollow when you come down here. After he disappears from a... Uh... Oh, I didn't even notice that blood stain. Huh. Must have gotten killed by uh, maybe the guy or something like that. But, but yeah, you can't save him. He... Oh, he tried to kick one of those guys in the water and he died for it. That's funny. Although I've died before doing stuff like that too, so I guess I can't make too much fun. But yeah, the Crestfallen War can't be can't be saved. And yeah, if you don't have the transient curses, you can buy four of them from that one lady, uh, that one uh, lady that sells the poison moss. Uh, if you need a couple, that one gives you two. And the characters in here also uh, sell the. Actually, I do kind of want more drops in the moss, so I think I will take off the ring. Like I said, I doubt I'll be summoned for that anyway. So before we go any further I might need to let's see uh, about halfway I'm trying to curse last for a few few moments so all right let's activate it now if we're if we're correct we should be able to hurt these things actually I should have showed you 
what happens if you just walk in without the curse? Yeah, well, ooh, we get a rare drop from them, the Jagged Ghost Blade. Uh, the ghosts drop two different types of blades here. They're very rare. Um, not needed for 100% for weapon completion, but uh, eh, nice to have in your collection. Uh, be careful around here because of the... Uh, it's hard to tell where like, where the water ends and, and where the platform begins. So uh, you will die if you fall in the water. Even if the area has platforms under it, you'll still die. Okay. I forgot if I could go through there. Huh? Sorry, I have a hard time seeing through some of this stuff. Ooh, what's that out there? And we can walk out there, too. All right, nothing's going to go bad here. What the? Get away from me. Luckily, I'm super powerful, so I can uh, take the hit. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that would be dangerous if you either A, didn't have the transient curse, or just weren't ready for it. Ooh, we get a Firekeeper Soul. We can uh, go back at some point and, uh, and uh, give that up and improve our... Uh, 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 healing to our for our uh, Estus flash or Estus flash, yeah. All right, I don't think there's anything else here, so we can keep continuing on. That's the dangerous thing about this place. If you don't have the transient curse or your character isn't cursed, then you can't hurt these guys. Like you'll, they'll do no damage and they'll just like keep hitting you and hitting you till you die. So just uh, kind of have to be careful. Yeah, if I remember, the transient curse lasts for quite a bit. You can tell that's going on because of the white aura surrounding you. So as soon as that disappears, activate another transient curse. But luckily, these ghosts uh, drop it pretty frequently. As long as you're wearing, like, a yeah, see? You just at least have to have the one. I think there is another person who sells transient curses later on because the, the old lady only sells so many before she runs out. She I think she sells, like, four or something like that. But uh, let's keep going through here. I ain't afraid of no ghosts, except for that new Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll admit, at the time of this recording, the movie hasn't come out, and I wasn't a fan of the trailer. But we'll see what the reviews say. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much about it because apparently the whole internet has a bug up their butt for that movie recently, and I don't want. I don't want to stir up any any unnecessary like you know uh, confusion or whatever. So. Anyway, not too bad here. Unfortunately, this place is probably going to be pretty easy because of how high my armor actually is. But, you know, it looks like we can't get down there. That's probably a shortcut, most likely. No transit curse. I'm hoping I'll get that ra rare drop for that go uh, the second... I think it's called the Ghost Blade, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we have to drop down there. Uh, it's a rare drop where... Uh, uh, it's just a rare dagger type. I don't remember if it does anything uniquely special that makes me really, really want it, but... Ooh. Like I said, be careful, because the ghosts are the only enemies that can actually go through walls and stuff like that, so... Like, you just have to... Uh, like, you can't stop them. Type of thing. Uh, or it's hard to run away. You'd have to, like, really, really run away. Uh, we don't want that lady. Whatever that screeching was, I do not like it. No more transient curses. More transient curses. Hey, never can have enough of these. You never know. All right. Let's see, I want to go through there in a second. I think the transient curse lasts for like five or ten minutes. It lasts a long time. Uh oh! What the? Another uh, another cheap trick from our friend the ghost. Yeah, this game's going to do that to you. But like I said, I you can actually go down here pretty early. I mean, like I said, there are the transit curses that drop from that one thing. So if you wanted to do this like right at the beginning of the game, you technically could. It'd be a lot more dangerous if you did it now. But until you get so far in the story, you won't be able to... Unless you do something specific, you wouldn't be able to get very far into it. But anyway, with that out of the way, there's no uh, uh, combat here. Ooh. A shortcut or just a place to get some stuff. Well, either way. Also, the problem with the ghosts here is that they have, yeah, see, another, another trick. But the problem is, is because of like where they are, sometimes it's hard to hit them. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was another trick of them trying to kill you. I eh, got another ghost blade. Or not jagged. It's like, it, you'll you'll tell the difference between it when whenever I get it. It's a, uh, um, it'll be like orangey looking. Can I actually check over here? I don't remember if there was actually anything over there. 
Nope. Uh, this is another place I haven't uh, exported as, as officially as the rest of the game, so you'll have to excuse me if I uh, forget one or two small details. Uh, this is a place, I think it's like right somewhere in the general area you can actually uh, shortcut. It's it's somewhere nearby. Oh, here's another. Oh, did that white thing? Okay, I need to transit curse again. Also, if you don't know if your transit curse is about uh, it is born out, you know, keep your transit curse highlighted is another good way to do it because then you'll. Uh, uh, luckily, the ghosts don't have a uh, knockback really. But yeah, you could leave your uh, transit curse on and uh, or item equipped, and then you could uh, and then wait for it to be highlighted. If it's highlighted, then. Uh, by the way, if you don't kill these ghosts here, they basically try to attack you from underneath with their spindly long arms, so... And they would just do damage to you. Cheap damage, for sure, but, uh, damage nonetheless. Let's keep exploring. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't say that these ghosts are super hard. They're just there for, like, a distraction, more or less, or annoyance. Chip away at your HP while you try to get through this place. But because I'm playing a melee build, I don't have to worry about it too much. I feel like playing melee is basically easy type mode for, for this type of game. Because then you don't have to... I mean, you'll still get like wrecked by bosses, but regular dudes are not going to do as much damage uh, to you. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. I think we can go back up again. And we see the remnants of New Londo there. You can see like houses and stuff like that. Uh, nope, nothing there. Alright. Let's uh, go around here. Let's get back up that ladder. I think we're taking care of all the little little things. So that we won't get our damage chip too badly. Alright. I think there's another... There should be another ghost like up top somewhere in the general area if I remember correctly. Ooh. Scary. Ah, here we go. Keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. No ghosts around here. Too bad they don't have proton packs. Uh, I think you don't have to actually jump down there if I remember correctly. You could actually get there eventually from uh Oh, looks like we got like three ghosts here trying to trying to get us. Come on over here so I can get your items, because if I kill you in the middle of the air, you might not drop it if you have something. There's nothing there. Hey! Kill you, stupid ghost. Yeah, I know you could jump here and get to that section over there, but I think if I remember correctly, you can actually get there regularly, so I'm not going to risk it. Alright. Yeah, the bad thing about this little area right here is that there's, there's a couple of ghosts here that'll attack you through like the walls and the floor, so, uh, so be wary of your surroundings. Oh, there's another crazy red lady. Uh, she's the one who drops the other unique dagger. She won't drop it all the time. Uh, it's kind of a compliment play to her, so if you ever want that other dagger, just look for those red-eyed ladies that kind of like screech. And, uh... I think what they do is, I think they summon all the ghosts when they do that. They'll summon all the ghosts to your location at, at once. So if you just want to deal one at a time, make sure to kill her before she uh, completely screeches. And yeah, I noticed the ladder there. I think I want to check that because I think the ghosts to a specific location that I can go back to easily. So let's go here. Climb, you fool. Climb! Ghosts will try to kill you with cheap shots while you're climbing the ladder. Yeah, another, another tricksy game right there. Hey. Uh-oh, another enemy. It's not chasing after me yet. It must be a specific... Oh, I thought those ghosts were going to chase after me. All right. All right, buddy. I'm ready to rock. Let's do this. Hey, I've seen your outfit before. I had it underground. I found it in the Blight Town. Oh. Oh, he's a friendly fellow, or at least he'll talk to me. Hello. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Oh, thanks for the key, buddy. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. 
Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss, if you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, so we can't enter the abyss without some help from this guy called Atorius, but uh, if we recall correctly, remember when we went through that forest near the, the hydra in the lake that the that the uh, forest covenant guards the grave of Artorius? So that's what that fog wall was. We had to fight Artorius or someone guarding his grave. Probably someone guarding his grave. Huh. So if we want to tackle these four kings, which... Okay, because I didn't put the actual ward vessel on, I don't know I'm actually supposed to fight them yet, so I'm a little out of sync in the story, by the way. Uh, so, my character's probably like, oh, apparently I'm supposed to go boss hunting for four kings. Alright, anyway, uh, let's see what that key says. Uh, let's see, key to the seal. Oh, by the way, if you don't have the ward vessel and you go down here before the story indicates you to, he won't give you the key without the ward vessel, but if you want to keep going on, uh, you can kill him for the key if you want. So... Other ways to get to it. Key of the flood, uh, to the floodgates of New Londo, which seal away the four kings who fell to dock. The sealers fled to New Londo to banish the dock race and the four kings. The agonizing decision was made with the realization that countless lives and the robust culture of the city would be lost. The victims now roam the ruins as ghosts. Huh. Interesting. So they tried, they sealed it, they basically flooded it to, to hide evil at bay. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. Oh, I can purchase item. Oh, and can you break? If I actually have an actual curse, I can break it from him. What do you sell? Oh, there you go. This is the guy who sells transient curses. Excellent. Oh, you can also resist curse. Yeah, let's buy it. Sure, why not? It'll, uh, it's one point towards uh, getting all the miracles. But yeah, he sells transient curses as well. So thanks. New Londo was sacrificed to contain the Dark Wraiths. Mark my words. The Dark Wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. By the way, his his uh, transient or his transient curse, even though you can only buy four of them from that poison lady. They're 5,000 apiece from the poison moss lady, but this guy only sells them for 1,000, so that kind of tells you. You know, you have to kind of work to get through here to get to him to buy the curse, so if you don't even know about the chains of curse and somehow survived, that would be a journey. You, Londo, was... Mark my words. They were never... I think you said that already, right? All right, see you later, buddy. Thanks for the ability to buy transient curses, even though I have a ton because of my high humanity and uh, my golden ring, but uh, appreciate the effort nonetheless. Now, oh. anyway, that out of the way, let's keep going. Uh-oh. You're not gonna get, oh, all right, I don't have transient curse activated. Whoops. There we go. Now you're dead. Now let's heal as well. Oh my god, items are falling from the sky. More chains of curse. More chains of curse. Technically, I don't need to have this ring on it unless I'm fighting those red-eyed ghosts. Uh, I think there are supposed to be like hidden walls and stuff like that around here, but I don't remember which ones are have the hidden walls and everything like that. So you'll have to forgive me. If I miss if I miss certain hidden walls for certain items, I'll like try to find them off screen and then show them to you or something like that. Hello, what's this? And someone's trying to attack me from above. How dare you. How dare you. Now, how did you get over here? Did I miss it when I was walking around? Oh, yeah, I did. Whoops. Eh. You know, death is meaningless. You'll come back after I sleep at the bonfire anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, you could, like I said, if you really want to skip this part, you could jump this platform to skip a small bit of the area, but... Uh, yeah, it only takes like a few seconds to walk down there, so I don't see the big deal. Oh, is that? Oh, second I thought there was a jump part, I was like, whoa! Green Titanite Shard. Well, I already have like 50 of those, but thanks. <laughs> From uh, killing those worms down in Blight Town. Ooh, and I guess I killed a ghost through the wall, so can I get it? Nope. Well, I don't know. 
I name a soul over here. Okay, cool. I'll use that if I ever need to buy some like last minute items, I guess. Okay, so I think, I think that might be where I'm supposed to go next. Let me double check down here. Yeah, it's probably not too exciting watching me just like just like browbeat my way through this place when you know like with no challenge for the most part because I know what I'm doing. Oh well. Sometimes you just want to play through a game where the player knows what they're doing. Oh, ghosts! You can defeat ghosts with. Oh, we get the curse bite ring from that. Uh, that does. Let's see. I don't remember that one too well. I think it, I think it raises your resistance to curse. I remember correctly. Yeah, it just boosts curse resistance. So if you're uh, um, like if you're underground with those basilisks or whatnot, you can uh, wear that. I think this place is also designed for a, a new be a new player to also have gotten here before the story told him to. Weirdly enough, I didn't I didn't uh, run across this area until the story officially told me to. I never explored New Londo. I think it's because I I don't know if I ever I don't think I ever died to the ghost, but I found out I couldn't hurt them. And so I, I skipped the area. I'm like, oh, I don't want to I don't want to mess with this right now. I'm too weak. I thought it was a hard area to play because there was no uh, uh, there was no person to uh, talk to, or not talk to. There was no uh, there's no way to hurt him. So I think I'm I think going that was the next place to go. Oh no, there's a I think there's a place I want to jump off here because there's an item I can get by going up here. So uh, let's grab that before we go to that little area over there. Ooh, what's over here? Humanity. I could always use that. Even though I've got quite a few from killing rats off screen, you know. I still haven't shown you where the best place to uh, get uh, to get humanity is. Although, sadly, it's only... it's Well, okay, I got I gave you the best place to farm for humanity if you don't have uh, if you don't have the DLC. That's okay, right? Okay, anyway. If you jump off here, we can get uh, this rare ring of sacrifice. That basically lets us keep everything. Uh, uh, the regular sacrifice lets you keep your humanity, and I think you still lose your souls, but you get to, or something like that anyway, but, uh, red, red, okay. Well, actually, let me read it really quick just to verify. Uh, let's see. Let's see, lose nothing upon death, or maybe it's, you, you still lose your humanity or something like that. I remember one, you'd still lose your humanity, but you kept everything else. Uh... Oh no, red, rare, in this game, you lose the curse uh, thing. Okay, that's it. Sorry. Like I said, it's been a while. But, uh, anyway, which one? Where do I want to drop? Just want to drop here? Yeah, we'll take the hit. That's all I really want to do. Like, you could easily skip that, so if you didn't want to encounter the, uh, if you don't want to mess with that, you could skip the rare, rare ring. But, yeah, it's there. And you, it breaks curse when you die, so, uh, so if you get killed by Basilisk while wearing it, you're good, to, you're good as gravy. And by the way, you've noticed my souls are pretty low. Basically, off screen, I leveled up uh, to like 69. Uh, 69. And, uh, oh, flipped. Wrong way again. What am I doing? Anyway, I just leveled up a bit off screen and bought some items just to fill up my souls. So, nothing too much. I, uh, I did I gave myself a small amount of dex boost for arrows, and, uh, since I'm using this Halberd build, uh, actually, let's go ahead and transient curse again just in case. I want to make sure everything's good to, uh, good to go. I think this is the next... Oh, there's an item over here. There it is. We get the composite bow and large arrows. Nice. Composite for your spear, for your strength arch archers. Actually, didn't I already have a composite bow? Or was that a variation to it? Hmm. Sometimes I forget, like, ra random regular items I get. Like, not, like, uniques or whatever. Oh, can I flip that switch? Nope. Looks like another shortcut I can't activate right now. Ooh, hello. Ah, use the keys to seal. Huh. Ah, here's the drain. Let's uh, let's clear out and our lawn, new Londo and uh, explore, shall we? Keep on pushing, keep on shoving. Is now is now pure. 
Now I can flip the switch. Whoop, sorry, the camera was a little, little funky on that. But yeah, now we can actually get to the bottom of Duwanda now that we've cleaned it, uh, cleared it out of water. So let's uh, go check out and see what, see if our new digs and surroundings. I don't think I missed anything. A lot of times ladders will have like jump spots to get items, but I don't think I have to worry about that here. All right, now we have to mess with one of the more dangerous uh, encounters in the game, or dangerous regular monsters in the game. Down here. See, I don't think I get jumped immediately by jumping down here, but I have to be careful. You remember how? Uh, hey, wait, Drakes. These open. This opens up to the Valley of Drakes. Huh. So that's that big door that was down there before. Uh, whoa. Dark race. Yeah, that guy mentioned that they had to seal this place of dark race. Well. Uh, don't get hit by that, by the way. He drains your humanity when he hits you with that red red attack. He drains, I think, one or two humanity when he hits you with that. Luckily, I'm pretty powerful, but... Uh... Alright, these guys... If you're trying to go for, like, New Game Pluses, where you want to max out all your armor and stuff like that, these guys drop... Uh... They drop their armor, they drop a specific item, a hand item, and they also drop the Titanite Slabs. The hardest thing in the game to get... And it only, you only, story-wise, only get, like, I think, like, two or three of them. But if you can grind for them, but, my God, the percentage to get grinding from, uh, uh, from killing Dark Race is ridiculously low. It takes forever in a day to, like, get a drop from them. Like, I, I would, I remember when I played this, like, a long time ago, and I would grind for, like, I don't know, like, a, a couple of hours and get, like, maybe one, if I'm lucky, so. Oh, well just nuts to that anyway so with new land no londo now available now that we cleared out the water and opened it up a, a passageway to another uh, bonfire location we want to because if we go past those drakes and go up that ladder we can get to another bonfire but what else is in new londo do the dark race have something to store for me and what about the uh, the four kings i won't be able to tackle them without the help of artorius will we encounter him on the way as well find out next time on the next episode of dark souls I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And don't go hollow now, you hear?